Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Whenever you see this money green uh, breakdown mat on screen, you know your boy ain't fucking around. Coming in hot. Today's video is going to be, um, mama, stop trying to sabotage me, please. Uh, whenever you see this green, this money green mat on the screen, you know we're about to get into some shit. Um, I figured I wanted to change pace a little bit again. Kind of getting tired of them goddamn breakdown video. I mean, them overview videos and shit. So we're about at the halfway point of 2023. 20, 2023 and I figured I was going to... Um, show you guys some of my favorite purchases now they're going to be in order as far as price goes but i'm not doing a separate video for fucking budget i'm, I'm not doing all that uh this is just 14 14 knives that i bought this year that i really enjoy i think for the most part you can get most of them if you can't i apologize but i'll um i'm not doing none of that linking and shit like that unfortunately you guys are very computer savvy i'm sure you can google it Maybe at some point I'll start doing all that linking. But um, first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment. And most importantly, subscribe, goddammit. It does help the channel. It does trick that algorithm. And it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that shit. Let's get to the dope. Uh, but first and foremost, let's drop the top on this bitch, shall we? Get a little up close in person now. Now, I've bought more than 14 knives this year for sure. I don't even want to think about how many I bought, but these are 14 of the best, and um, we're coming in hot, starting with the low end. These, this knife here was under, under $50 for sure, and I'm very impressed with it. It's a great knife, uh, and that is the Miguron Pagos 2 front flipper rendition. Now, this, was, uh, this is the budget version of a uh, premium knife from Miguron. Now, be forewarned, Miguron is heavy on this list. Miguron's got the most representatives on this list out of any of my other brands this year. Uh, maybe that besides Spyderco, but uh, I digress. We're looking at 14C 28N blade steel with a beautiful bead blast finish. Green micarta scales. Knife is deployed via the uh, front flipper, which flies out. Or you get your thumb studs. Something else Miguron does, which is I want to give them credit for, is they always throw us these titanium pocket clips. Even on these budget knives. I don't, I don't think any of their knives has a uh, steel pocket clip. Budget or premium. Uh, straight back uh, blade configuration. This is a fabulous little knife, man. Super fidgety. Perfect work knife. Uh, you, won't, you won't lose your ass if you lose the knife. You know, under 50 bucks. Super, super perfect little work knife. Highly recommend it. That is the Pagos 2 front flipper. That's number one. Keeping that same Miguron energy is the, possibly at this point, the budget knife of the year for me. And that is the Miguron Mayoro. I've uh, spoken highly of this knife as well as other people. And it's a fabulous knife. If you do not have this, I highly recommend you get it. They should be available. Um, I think I snagged mine on White Mountain Knives. And if you go there, be sure to use code knife, knife dope. Save yourself 10%. Why, why don't you? Uh, 14C 28M blade steel black wash finish. Or maybe this might be a black PBD stone wash finish, I believe. Black micarta scales. Once again, the infamous titanium pocket clip. They even went ahead and give, gave us a little um, anodized uh, pivot collar there on your lock side. Fifth, uh, forward finger troll does allow for you to get a good choke up and get that full purchase no refund. So you know I'm about that. And it is deployed via your cutout. I put skiffs on this, but I also have a uh, stock version, and the uh, stock bearings are just are, are just as good. So, not just as good, but they are good. That is the Miguron Mayoral. Now, this next one, I had to look back at the dates, and um, this was a 2023 drop. The pre-order was in December of 2022, but they didn't start delivering until January this year, and that's when I got this one. 
Uh, we're talking about the best tech, best techman Ronin. This knife is a great, great goddamn knife. This was fifty dollars as well. Um, I have not given it enough pocket time. I ain't gonna shit you, um, but it isn't because the knife isn't good. It's just I've got a ton of other knives that I prefer. Uh, but I digress. We're talking about 14C 28M blade steel. We've got a spear point blade. The um, finish on this particular version is what they call a black titanized finish. So it's like a titanium coating they put on this. Uh, super slicey. We look like we have uh, almost a full flat grind. The uh, This version's got the Jade G10, but they have several versions, several blade finishes. It is a crossbar lock. I forget what Best Techman calls their crossbar lock, but nonetheless, it's a crossbar lock. Uh, deep carry pocket clip, which is right hand tip of carry. Open back construction. Hell of a knife, people. You know? I like what Best Techman's doing. I really enjoyed their Dundee as well. Um, do wish they would have went with 14C on that knife instead of the D2, but I don't mind D2, especially for the price point they have it at. That is the Best Techman Ronin. Okay. This next one, uh, I got two versions of it. This is my favorite version, and that is the CJRB um, Echo. But this is a uh, Knife Center exclusive that's going to run you about 80, 82 bucks, give or take, with, with shipping and whatnot. Uh, this one comes with the AR RPM 9 blade steel. We've got titanium bolsters, black micarta uh, overlays, mill titanium pocket clip. This is a button lock. Front flipper flies the fuck out. Um, doesn't use a traditional detent, however, it feels like it does. But to save you some money, you can easily go with the budget version to this knife. And I, I enjoy this one just as much. Uh, this is the stainless steel version with the stonewash blade. Uh, same locking mechanism, same deployment mechanisms. This knife also comes in a um, liner lock version with the green micarta scales. The liner lock version actually has contoured scales, which I would have loved on the uh, on the premium version, or even this version, I would have loved it. I wish they would have given us a micarta option for this knife um, with the button lock, but they didn't. Uh, maybe that's to come, open back construction. This ARRPM9 is um, CJRB's proprietary steel. It's a powdered steel, and everybody has raved about it. Uh, my homeboy, Duty Low from Duty's Daggers, did a cut test with it. He uh, put it up against the 15V, and it held its own. You know, don't, don't get it twisted. 15V is still fucking 15V, but the ARRPM9 held its own. So, um, yeah, give it a shot. This was just over 50 bucks. Okay, next up. This one is a recent acquisition from a company that I... Um, I do enjoy. I don't buy many of their knives, but it's not because they don't make good quality knives. It's just I prefer other models or other brands. And this is the Civivi Cubid. Now, I've had a hate-love relationship with this knife. I kind of hated it when I first opened it, uh, primarily because of this, this, this thing that they tried to tell us that they purposely made as a bottle opener. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think that they um, came up with that whole idea once they realized people weren't going to be a fan of this. I, I wouldn't use a goddamn knife as a uh, bottle opener, but that's just me. Um, but nonetheless, we're looking at a beautiful, beautiful, nice little slicey blade here. Drop point blade. Uh, I'm almost getting spear point vibes from it. But this one is also a button lock. Uh, 2023 has picked up where 2022 left off. Button locks are just as, um, just as popular. I had kind of sworn them off a little bit because of all the... Um, the spine whacking that was going on and all that bullshit, you know, you know, theoretically we should never be spine whacking a knife, but for some, for some people take that as a real, as a real, um, determining factor on, uh, on if the knife is good. I kind of fell victim to that whole, um, that whole craze. And I started spine whacking them. This one held up. Um, I've never had a problem with any of my, um, Civivi button locks, but they went ahead. This was the first model that they put aluminum handles on, and I love it. I hope they do more of that, and I think they have. I think they released quite a few versions of knives this year with the aluminum handles. The uh, I changed the pocket clip. It comes with a, a stainless steel one. I installed a uh, Kaiser deep carry pocket clip, 
and it's uh, super fidgety as a fuck. Ergonomically fills the hand great. They do have that choil up there, so you can choke up. Great edge termination, great sharpening uh, life for you there. Um, and that is the Savivi Cubid. This came in, I believe, 60 bucks, 66 bucks without the discount. Bought it on White Mountain. Once again, I used the uh, code Knife Dope and got it for about 60 bucks. That is the Savivi Cubid. It's grown on me, people. Now, this next one, this is probably the first one that we, we're getting to so far that you won't be able to get unless you get it on the secondary or unless you attend Blade Show. And that is the Devo Pony Stout, baby. What can I say? I am a Devo fanboy. Ain't gonna shit you. Shout out to uh, Lefty and Colin, two great pillars in the community. Um, they're making great knives, and you know they do so much. They do so many positive things for the community. A lot of it you don't hear about. A lot of it you do hear about, but a lot of it you don't. Um, but back to the knife, which is the important stuff. The full, the original stout is one of my favorite knives. Um, it was actually one of my most sentimental knives. It was the first knife I had ever pre-ordered, and I love it. It's still in the collection to today. Uh, but this is a scaled-down version, and I, this is a different OEM. The stout, the OG stout was OEM by QSP. This one is done by, uh, goddamn, uh, Kubi. And Kubi banged it out. Uh, we've got 14C, 28M blade steel, a.k.a. the super steel. Shout out to Rolo. The uh, beautiful hollow grind here on the sheep's foot style blade. We do have some poon action. Uh, this one is a liner lock. Beautiful, nice, uh, smooth micarta scales. We've got that quarter length backspacer with the uh, reversible wire pocket clip. Fits in the hand just right. I know some people think that the stout should have been this size out the gate. Um, I don't know if I agree with that sentiment, but nonetheless, this is a great knife. This one came in somewhere in the $65 range, I want to say, and that was after the discount code, something like that. I love it. Going to have to definitely find some more time for it because it has not gotten a lot of time, but that is the Devo Pony Stout. This next one is a good one. Um, there may be some disagreement here on if this if this qualifies for a 2023 release, but this is my video, goddammit, and it does it does to me. Um, this knife originally dropped, la the budget version of this knife dropped last year, but it was a flipper only. They went ahead and uh, listened to the people. They removed the flipper and gave us that thumb hole deployment. And this is the uh, Vosti Nightshade TH for thumb hole. Um, I had the flipper version and it was great, but this one right here is even better. They're uh, giving us... 154 cm blade steel with a black pvd stone wash finish black micarta scales that are contoured open back construction with tons of milling in here let's see if i can show it to the people tons of milling on both sides of those liners ergonomically fills the hand phenomenally uh this blade shape is what they call the kukri cutter and it's perfect for utility cuts draw cuts traps your material uh this is a winner Pocket clip is, is is great. I would have loved the titanium one, but this stainless steel one does not give me any hot spots. Super fidgety. D10 is dialed the fuck in. She flies out. This is a hell of a knife. You might not be able to get this as a as of this video, but they're constantly uh, restocking this knife. So love what Vostid's doing. They are one of the companies that I will be going to seek out at Blade Show. So uh, keep an eye on Vostid. Uh, this was the nightshade. Okay, we're we're breaking the hundred dollar point at this. We're breaking the hundred dollar uh, threshold at this point. Now this knife is uh, a newer version of an existing model. So theoretically, this isn't a new release, but just uh, go with me on this. We're talking about the Kaiser Original XL. This is the only Kaiser knife that I've bought in 2023. I'm almost positive of that. Um, not that I don't like what Kaiser's doing, but I just felt that they really weren't doing anything new. They were just kind of, you know, I don't know. I just felt that they weren't doing enough. But it's still a great knife. Uh, super fidgety. They went ahead and on this version, they, they uh, gave us a premium blade, blade steel, which is the S35VN with a beautiful stone wash finish, drop point configuration. Once again, another button lock. 
And just like the Savivi, I've had no problems with Kaiser's button locks, you know, as far as spine whack failure goes. We've got open back construction, titanium handles with the uh, folded over titanium pocket clip. However, I must call them out on this. The liners are stainless steel, which is kind of a uh, oxymoron. They're going to give us goddamn titanium handles, and then they're going to throw stainless steel liners. Kind of defeats the purpose, but um, for $135, I think this is a good knife. Um, I can recommend it. Um, this is the Kaiser Original XL. Okay, this one right here is probably one of the favorite purchases for me, for sure especially on the Spyderco uh, knives that I acquired this year. This is the Little Native Warren Cliff Apparatus. And let me tell you, people, I know that this is just a new design on an existing model, or not even a new design, but a new blade shape. That's literally all they did. However, it changes the knife completely for me. I've got three Little Natives in the collection. Uh, the Little Native is my favorite small carry knife, hands down. And this one right here even even uh, took it that much further for me. This blade shape is just makes this knife feel so much bigger than it actually is. Uh, that, in addition to that famous finger choil up there, just makes the knife carry uh, so comfortably. I can fit four fingers on it, no problem. Um, the Warren Cliff blade is probably my favorite blade shape out of all of them. It's just capable of so much uh, so much work. This is the perfect little work knife, man. The uh, blade steel is the S30V, which Spyderco does optimally for us. All their steels are, are done great. Uh, black peel ply G10 with the uh, wire clip that is reversible. I do wish that uh, they would have given us a, a, a better steel. Not that S30V isn't serviceable. I just, you know, would have liked some of their uh, higher end steels, which I'm sure the popularity of this knife, I can guarantee you that they will be dropping uh, different steels with this, with this knife. And um, I will grab it. I am a Spyderco ho. This is the only Spyderco knife uh, that I have on this list. Um, not that this is the only one that I bought, but I felt that the rest of them were just changing blade steels only. They kept the same blade shapes. This one was probably the biggest change. Uh, this one came in at about 150, and that is the Spyderco Little Native, baby. Okay. Similar vibe with this one. This one right here is one of my favorite purchases for 2023, hands down. Uh, this is the Bridgeport Knife Company 395, baby. Version two, don't get it fucked up. Now, the main difference between this version and version one, version one took the took the knife world by storm, okay? It was a pre-order. This one wasn't a pre-order. You ordered it and it shipped immediately. There were several versions to this version too. You could have got it with thumb studs. You could have got it with micarta. Um, and then they had a titanium version that was a way of knife exclusive. But I opted for this one. This one came $195 to your door. Uh, it comes with the shredded carbon fiber scales. They upped the steel for us. They given, they're giving us 20 CV blade steel. I do think they gave us a deeper hollow grind if I remember correctly in comparison to version one. They also gave us different blade finishes. I opted for the uh, black wash. Kubi's the OEM for them, and um, they banged it out. You know, like I've said before, Kubi is to 2020, 2023 what Kaiser was to 2022. It's the company to watch for. They're doing tons of OEM work. You know, Devo is another company they do OEM work for, and it's just they're hitting their stride. You know. Um, Phenomenal access to that lock bar. I got mine riding on skiffs. D10 is dialed the fuck in. She flies out, comes back to the house, flies out, comes back to the house. Quarter length backspacer. If I remember correctly, version one didn't have that. So that's also different. And then that milled pocket clip didn't come on version one. Or yes, it did. It came on version one. But um, yeah, this is the uh, Mickey Ron. Mickey Ron. God damn it. Uh, the Bridgeport Knife Company. Three, nine, five. Don't believe you can get this anymore. They might have some of the thumb stud versions still available. Last time I checked, they did, but they might be sold out as of this video. Phenomenal, phenomenal knife. I probably carried this knife most out of all my uh, 2023 purchases. Okay, remember I was telling you guys that this company was gonna be heavy on the list? 
This is the third representation of this company on this uh, list of knives. And this is the Meguron Carex 2. When, what drew me to this knife when I first saw it was it was giving me buzz vibes. Granted, this one is a frame lock. The buzz is an inset liner lock. But overall, when the knife is deployed, it gives me buzz vibes. And it's a lot cheaper. Um, this one came in at 169 And I want to say that was with the discount. Pretty sure that's with the discount. But what they're giving you for 169 is just, it's, uh, it's a lot. We got M390 blade steel, modified sheep's foot uh, blade shape, the uh, nice hollow grind on the blade, uh, beautiful swedge here at the tip. They have what they call a high-end uh, bead blast finish, blackened titanium scales, stainless steel lock insert, mill titanium pocket clip that is not reversible, beautiful gear titanium backspacer knife is deployed via your front flipper and it flies the fuck out or you got your hole cut out got a fabulous little finger toil up there allowing that full purchase no refund it just fits in the hand just ergonomically speaking it's it, it's uh it melts in the hand solid lock up this took about two days to break in and once it did it's fucking money i put a little bit of a uh, kpl heavy on the bearings I know most people usually usually put that light, but to me the KPL heavy is uh, is better. Uh, it just it's not as runny as the light, so in my eyes it stays on those bearings more and it it lubricates just great. Um, fabulous little knife here. I think um, I, I, th I believe there's a version one to this knife. I don't know how version one looked, but version two is a winner, and that is the Carex two. From Mickey Ron. All right, we got three mo. Hang in there, people. This one right here was another one that I believe came out in 2023. It might have dropped at the end of 2022, but nonetheless, I didn't get it till March of this year, I think. Uh, this is the Wii Hyphen. This is another great knife that I'm very impressed with. Some people complain about the size, but I'm good with it. This is a sub seven inch overall length on this knife, um, but this is a Michael Gavco collaboration or a Gavco design. We've got a uh, modified sheep's foot slash harpoon style blade there, 20 CV with a beautiful stone wash. Nice deep hollow grind. The handles are titanium handles that are contoured. With, they've been anodized blue and then stone washed. There's no billboarding to speak of on that show side. And on the uh, lock side, they have just the designer's logo. Also anodized those thumb studs. D10 is dialed the fuck in. She flies out on this one. Fabulous knife. We makes a good goddamn knife. I do not have many of them in the collection, but anyone that I, everyone that I've gotten, I've enjoyed thoroughly. Uh, this isn't no different. Open back construction. We've got a uh, titanium pocket clip that is right hand tip up carry only. Once again, that finger choil does allow for that full purchase, no refund. So you know that it's a winner for me. I can't recommend this knife enough. Would, would, I have a, would I have enjoyed it to be a little bit bigger? Perhaps. But this works just fine for me. That is the Wii Hyphen. We got two mo. God damn it. Two mo. This right here is another knife that uh, took the world by storm. The knife world by storm. Sold out pretty much instantly when it when it dropped. Uh, but again, this is just an updated version of a pre-existing model. This is the Riot XOM. But they did some significant changes. So therefore, it's going to be considered a new knife for me. Uh, this is a gravity knife. Version 1 was the XO, which was bigger and did not have this slide lock. Uh, this XOM, they, 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 uh, they banged it out the park. It's a gravity knife, but it does have the lock, which I don't think any other gravity knife has. Super fidgety, okay? We're looking at, um, this version is the Tonto version with the black micarta inlays. Beautiful, smooth micarta, both sides. Titanium body with the pocket clip that is uh, right hand tip up carry. Um, people were complaining about that, that, uh, that pocket clip screw. You can see it's got a mushroom head on it. Allegedly, you could reach out to Riot and they would send you a, a new screw, which I did. I reached out to them. 
I hadn't even opened the package because when I first looked at it, I thought originally it was the same goddamn screw. And it almost does look like the same screw. But if you look close enough, this uh, this one on the left looks a little bit more flush. Still got a mushroom head. It's just not as bulbous as the one we see uh, with the knife. But I love this. I had contemplated selling it. And maybe I will at some point. But for the meantime, it's staying in the collection. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I guess we would classify this more as a self-defense knife. Uh, we're looking at 3V blade steel. No billboarding to speak of. You have just the blade steel right there. Love it when these companies don't, you know, uh, force their, their logo or model name down our throats. They just leave it nice and clean. It just looks so much better. You may even classify this as a gentleman's knife, you know. But nonetheless, I love it. And they just, they just got back in stock on Blade Ops. So if you want this knife, check it out. This one came in at about, I think, 280 something like that. I got mine from White Mountain, and I paid a little bit less than that with the discount code of Knife Dope. Get yourself one. All right, this last one is the most expensive knife on my list for 2023, uh, at least on knives that were released this year. We're talking about none other than the Alliance Designs Kraken, baby. Shout out to the OG Sharif. I know he's a fan of this knife. Don't know if he picked one up yet, but... Um, I love what Alliance is doing. This uh, is a Michael Christensen design, and you can look at it and see his design language for sure. Uh, we've got M390 blade steel. Once again, we have very minimalist uh, billboarding. We've got the Alliance logo there, and then we've got the Christensen uh, maker's mark on the back. This is a uh, bolster frame lock. We've got titanium bolsters with a beautiful, seamlessly uh, installed micarta inlay on both sides. Nice uh, titanium pocket clip that is right hand tip up carry only. Buttery smooth action. We've got a uh, quarter link backspacer with some gearing uh, pattern here on the base. Detent is dialed the fuck in. She flies out. This one is deployed via your thumb disc. This is the only knife in the collection I have that uses a thumb disc. Took a little bit, not very long, but took a little bit for me to get used to that thumb disc, but I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, I think that Riot is the OEM for Alliance Designs. It feels like a Riyadh. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what it is. This one, like I said, was the most expensive. This this version came in at about 380, uh, and this is the cheapest version of the Kraken. Some of these damn Krakens are like fucking 600 bucks, I believe, but fabulous knife, highly recommend it. That is the Alliance Design Kraken. Well, there you have it, people. My uh, 2023 knife purchases of new knives that were released this year that I've added to the collection that I really enjoy that I wanted to share with you guys. We're only halfway in, halfway through with the year this year, so we still got another six more months to go. Who knows what's coming up next? I don't know necessarily there's something that I'm looking for. Um, maybe from companies like McNeese. I love what McNeese is doing. You know, Blade Show is only a couple days away at this point. And um, I'm not going there specifically looking for anything per se. Um, but there are a few companies that I will be taking a look at. American made wise, going to be McNeese. Um, overseas wise, I'll be checking out Vosteed, of course. And um, going to have to definitely go by Spider Coast booth. You know how that goes. But um, that's, uh, that's what we have, people. Let me know in the comments if you've got any of these knives. Or are you considering getting any of these knives? I want to know all about it. Do you agree with my uh, selections? Tell me I'm crazy. Please, tell me something. This is uh, Memorial Day weekend coming upon us. Today's Monday, Memorial Day. Be sure to uh, be thankful and uh, keep the soldiers in our minds and in our prayers. Thank them for our freedoms. And um, that's how we're going to do it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.